Hello and welcome to Raxio Hour this week. We had the pleasure of welcoming new team members at a pivotal period as the data center construction nears completion and official launch of the facility draws closer. The highly qualified staff will efficiently oversee operations in their different capacities as we serve Ugandan companies in need of a place to secure their sensitive data without risk of any loss. Here's what went down during the orientation and induction at the Raxio Data Center Lab in Mbuya. Congratulations and welcome to Raxio Data Center. Now let's get to know a bit more about the team. Take a look. This is Raxio. All staff members, please report to the diary room. Tell us your name and role. Uh, my name is James Biavanga, I'm the general manager for Raxio Data Center. I'm Solomon Kamkama. I've been designated as an accountant at Raxio Data Center Company. I am David Emeru Eguel. I, I am uh, going to be the NOC manager. My name is Martin Karugonjo and I have joined Raxio as the sales executive. Um, Samson Tinka and I manage security. Uh, my name is Helen Banura and I am the administrator for Raxio Data Center. I'm Tiemba Ibrahim. I'm a facility engineer or infrastructure engineer in charge of electrical works, mechanical works, and automation control to see that the, the system is okay, stable in terms of power and connectivity. I'm taking on the role of the data hall in charge at Raxo. Uh, my name is uh, Abdurrahman Baguma Ahmed. Uh, the role in Raxio and the VP Technology and Operations. My name is uh, Jeremiah Kassidia and my role at Raxio, I am the site manager uh, overseeing the data center operations from an operations perspective. Describe yourself in five words. Amazing, crazy, um, innovative, driven and patient. Uh, well, I would say I'm a very committed person who likes doing the hard work of it. I'm quite ambitious. Uh, I'm full of a robust personality that keeps me moving. And yeah, I'm really committed to be part of the big team. I'm very easygoing. I always see where many people see problems, I see solutions. It is very rare to get me angry. It used it, it. I wasn't always like that, but I decided, okay, one, I can always see solutions. Why, why stress? Yes. Yeah, so, is it going? Uh, charm, charmable. Yeah, and happy. Learner, teacher connector, helper, loyal. A bit impatient. Uh, uh, outgoing. And uh, I want to see change all the time. I want to see positive change. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fun. I'm dedicated. I'm confident. And I deliver um, what else can I say? Um, I'm an interesting character overall. I think that's what I would say. Dynamic. Uh, I can adapt to the situation as required. I'm also a loyal person. Uh, and um, 
I'm a happy person. Yeah. Charismatic, energetic, fun, uh, happy go lucky. I'll give you only four. <laughs> I am uh, ambitious, extremely ambitious. I am open minded. I am a go getter. When I set out to do something, I really want to achieve it. Uh, I like, um, I'm assertive sometimes, uh, when necessary. And uh, I, on a softer side, I, I have a, a heart and uh, uh, values for, for uh, looking after other people. What is your biggest strength? I don't give up. My biggest strength is negotiation. I think uh, I'm an excellent uh, negotiator. Uh, technology and people. Uh, I have uh, a tendency of uh, knowing to get uh, the best out of the resources that work under me. I listen a lot. It, uh, it has given me the ability to learn different things. It has also helped me to change my perception about certain things. Because when you listen, you learn. When you speak, you're speaking what you already know. Uh, my biggest strength, I respect time and money. My dedication, I love seeing things through. I just, I, I don't like leaving work and done. I would rather have um, my time cut but deliver at the end of the day. So my dedication, as I think I would say, is my biggest strength. Speed. Speed. I do things very fast. It's a very, I'd, I'd say it's a tie between um, being reliable and being trustworthy. Other people see problems. I see solutions and business ideas. Yes. For example, I would find the opportunity, say the road is flooded. I think it is a nice adventure to see how you can build a bridge. I'm a very proactive person. I don't wait for challenges and issues to come my way. I usually oversee and try to come up with you know mitigation kind of a thing to sort out everything that might be in my in my path. What are your hobbies and interests? Throwing parties, attending parties, <laughs> and um, doing things I've not done before, like basically taking off my bucket list from water sports to movies and entertainment. I am an outdoor person. I like outdoor, so I really like traveling. Yeah. As a if if you give me an air ticket, I'm going to be on the next flight out of the country. I play football. I played professional football in Uganda. I played for a club called Mbara FC when I was still in Tari school. Uh, I'm a brown belt Aikido. Uh, I do like swimming. I love traveling up, up in the country, seeing wild game. Uh, I, I basically love going out of town. Once um, I got some time on me. I love games, especially valuable. Yeah. I do that once in a while. <laughs> My physique doesn't show that. <laughs> Jogging, boxing, and reading. I'm such a movie person, like, scratch that. I am a serious person, like, movies not so much. I don't understand why they, they end after an hour, but I'll go on with a series for days, um, novels, and um, hanging with friends, you know, a good book, which still falls under and novels. Yeah, so those are some of my hobbies, anyway. Reading newspapers. Before I read the newspaper, I can't say it. And by I read my newspaper between five and six online. I've signed, I've signed for uh, dailies in Uganda online. So between five and six, I've read daily mountain new vision and completed them. And uh, 
uh, my outdoor hobby is swimming and uh, and traveling. Oh, that's very easy. Uh, rugby and reading. I, I I love I love to travel. I love to see new things. I love I love to meet new people so much that. When I was in secondary school, I almost thought I'd be a bus driver. You get to, you get to do the two things at the same time. You get to meet new people, and you get to see the world for free. Um, two or three hobbies and interests. Uh, well, uh, I love swimming. I also like watching football. And in my free time, I used to be a volleyball player. I like going to the court and hitting those balls. What's on your bucket list? Skydiving. Like I said, I like traveling a lot, so I would like to uh, visit some of those uh, destinations in, in the world. Like, I would like to go to the US. Uh, I've been to Dubai. I would like to go to some other destinations uh, like UK. Uh, I've been to South Africa. So, I would like to go and experience uh, life out there. That, uh, and see how, how different other people do things. To go back in boxing competition, because that, that has my career. Then uh, probably vis visiting some of the, the countries for technological advancement because of the technology progress, like Germany. I, I, I really like their technology. I like music. Probably one day. I actually want to do bungee jumping. Like I feel like, uh, first of all, I'm afraid of heights, mm -hmm. but I think I want to push myself for that bungee jumping in ginger. But they 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 cut the the rope. I don't know. There's something wrong with the rope. So I am waiting for them to to come back. I I, I want to contribute oil and gas industry in Uganda, area of security and safety. Either as an expert, as a consultant, as a trainer, but I know it's going to be a bigger thing <coughs> for this country in the next 10, 15 years. So I would wish to be part of it. Uh, another thing, maybe uh, in the bucket list, uh, Ruxy is starting, and it is always good to be part of the starting team, especially when the company is growing. After 15 years, and they are celebrating 15 years in service, and we say our own, our people that started with the line up here. Yeah. So really, I would want to be part of that team and uh, excel and grow with them. Uh, I'm from a family of um, pilots and flight engineers, and I am one of the very few people that didn't take that route as a career path, but as something of a um, fascination to me, uh, flight. Yeah, learning how to fly is definitely uh, right at the top of my bucket list. I really want to be a tailor. I love uh, being able to measure somebody, have a relationship with them, talk to them. There's a way clothes make people feel. Sometimes clothes bring out the best in us. I would like to share that or experience that. Say I make you a shirt. I would like to experience the happiness you get from the shut up made. There is this car that I love so much, which is my dream car. It's a Defender P10. And maybe one day when I have it procured, I would want to drive it across the sub -haran. So I look forward to driving in it from Uganda all the way to, to West Africa. What's your spirit animal? It's an African pied wagtail bird. The rest of you know it as Kanyamu. I think one of the animals that never gives up easily uh, when it sets out on a mission is uh, uh, maybe uh, a tiger. When it, sets, <laughs> when it sets out to, to catch prey, so it will wait patiently until the right time. Uh, based on my religious background, uh, I can't have a spirit animal. But I do have a, I do have animals I relate to. Uh, uh, playing mantis, uh, it is very slow, but it has the speed that a naked eye cannot see when it's going for its prey. Uh, 
I look at the wild ones, uh, the lion, uh, being the king of the jungle. I have to be a dog. Dog is loyal. A dog, straightforward. What you, what you give it is what you get. If it's a cheetah, it takes short time to think and acts very fast. It's the fastest animal. Uh, an elephant. I love elephants. Elephants, um, they take, especially the matriarchs, they take care of, uh, of the herd. They are vast uh, fonts of, uh, of knowledge in terms of uh, where to find water, where to find food, because over the period of, uh, of life, their lifespan is very lengthy, up to 80 years. They learn from when they're, they're calves, they know where things are, and they teach that to their pride, and they protect the, the herd, rather. They protect their herds as well. And um, elephants don't forget, and I pride myself in my memory. So, yeah, elephant. Um, I think a cut. Yeah, because they, they are peaceful things. Every time they, they are hungry, they can make a sound. When they are satisfied, they can sleep. They, they are good things, really. When I look at them, I feel like there is some bit of communication. Thanks, team. You may now take your leave. Thanks for watching. Follow our social media platforms for more updates at Raxio UG on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Until next time, stay safe.